Welcome to Level and Diecast, everybody. Matchbox today. Matter of fact, this is the first time we've ever done Convoy Matchbox unboxings here on the channel. This is the very, very first case for 2023. Brand new Convoy is coming out. This is the 956H case. GBK70 is your assortment for the Convoys. There are six models in here. So we're gonna crack open this case, see how we've got everything all packed up in here. Did recently get this, uh, purchased this from J Car Diecast. So in case you guys are looking for it, that's where you can go. There is the pack out here. Take our first one out of the top. There is the first convoy right there. That is a brand spanking new tooling. It is the Megaton Fire Truck, the Truck Trailer and International Workstar Ambulance. Quite a big uh, mouthful. does have your 70th logo on there, which looks pretty good. Of course, this deco right here is the same deco that just came out in the moving parts. So they are the same deco. And of course, now you have a matching fire truck to go with it. This one is number 3 of 10. You see there is going to be 10 Convoys in the mix. They are not all going to be brand new though, unfortunately. There is the mix of the first wave. Uh, these are going to be two brand new versions. Um, at the time of this unboxing, those two models are exclusive. Uh, these are two re-releases from uh, previous releases from Convoys, but that is a pretty good one. The Tesla and the Pipe uh, Hauler Trailer. So we have that guy. There are two of those in the case. So there are two of those. So we'll set those guys aside for just right a second. We're going to crack everything open. Don't you worry. There is the next new one in the mix. Of course, that is the Western Star, which recently came out in a nine pack with the tanker on there. It's got shell on it, which is fantastic. No weird medieval fuel stuff or whatever they were doing before. Uh, just a absolutely awesome, realistic, licensed deco. Uh, it does come with the Ford Mustang with Shell V-Power on there. This one, number 7 of 10. Nothing different on the back of the cards for this guy. This guy should also be two per case. It is. There is the second one in the mix. So, two of each of the brand new ones thus far. So, that's a definitely a very, very, very good thing. Now, there are six in the mix. These are going to be your two reissues from previous release. Um, there's unlikely to be anything new with um, either one of these. But um, they still look good. This is one of the better ones that they did in the first release. This is number 9 of 10. Of course, the Tesla the pipe hauler trailer and, of course, the uh, matchbox mover or load lifter, I guess you can call it. Then the very last one in the mix... At one point in time, this one was actually relatively difficult to get here in the U.S., uh, but obviously it ended up showing up no problem. This is the uh, Matchbox cab over and the box trailer. It's just nothing fancy with the name. This load lifter is exclusive to this particular pack, um, although this particular one is not new. Uh, we've seen that load lifter before, just like we've seen the other one from the other uh, dealio over there. You see this still has the same deco on it from when it was original, which is MBX Convoys 2020. So been a long, long time. Um, like I said, I highly doubt there's anything different with these, um, but we're not gonna compare the originals. We're just gonna focus on the new stuff. So I think that is important. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our very, very first one with our Megaton fire truck. Now this is a new casting. However, this casting is um, modeled on a super convoy, uh, just scaled down to fit. So we'll pull that guy out of there. Comes with your international van, of course, the exact same deco as the Ram Ambulance. No decos on the front, does have full metal base. And just Zamic. This one does some, get some additional print on the back, though. That's pretty cool. We didn't get any print on the ambulance and the moving parts, but uh, this one gets print, which is pretty cool. I love Chevrons. A huge fan of Chevrons. I think they look, just look good on everything commercial related. So this one looks pretty good. So that one's a pretty good version. 
This is our megaton fire truck. Of course, just like all convoys, they do separate. So we'll just go ahead and take the trailer off. I am happy to report the entire base is metal. So all of that that you see in black is metal. So it's actually got a decent amount of weight to it. This would be your steering cab here in the back uh, to control this guy flying around. Super high quality inkjet printing on the side. Looks pretty good. Matchbox Fire Department, El Segundo, California. The ladder does, of course, extend. It pulls full 360. A little out of focus there. I do apologize, but it does go 360. Um, and it does have a second stage on the boom. So you just pull that out there. Looks pretty good. The outriggers don't move. They're, they're fixed, so they stay there. Um, but the ladder, as you can see, just doesn't have enough weight to counteract the metal base. So that's pretty good, you know, pretty good play quality. The ladder is relatively large, especially for only having a second stage boom in there. But not too bad. There are little notches on the top which hold the ladder from moving. So it looks pretty good. Some diamond plating on the top looks pretty good as well. There's supposed to be some search lights more than likely. Uh, there is no interior in here. It's just uh, it's just a black piece of plastic to stimulate the window. So just in case, there is the deets on the bottom. I don't think this will have a man number being a trailer, which doesn't look like it. But figured I'd show that detail anyways. This is the cab. Um, this cab is all metal. The red is. Uh, everything else is plastic. Very interesting assembly with this. It is a hook assembly on the back here but it also has two separate rivets which look pretty good this guy should have a potentially have a man number on here doesn't look like he does maybe just because it's not for the main line s13a is the day code for these there is the prints in the front fully printed up there is an interior inside of there so in case you're wondering if there's an interior i am happy to report that there is integrated light bar on the top looks very very good Looks like something they could even potentially just release just the cab by itself uh, in the main line should they really want to. Uh, when it is hooked up, the outriggers do not rub. They don't hit the ground or anything like that. The deco looks pretty good. Your yellow stripe on there, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, very, very nice combination. Really, really nice combination. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this guy out there and we're just going to, we're going to put our Ram ambulance out there because it looks that good. All right, second new one in the mix. Of course, this is the Western Star with the Shell Tanker Trailer. Like I said, at the time of this video, both of these models included in here are exclusive to the Convoy line. I don't know if they will pop up anywhere else, but um, hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. There is our Mustang GT in Shell V-Power. has number 17 on the fender. The paint is a little bit light on this one. Got a little bit of light paint on the front end. You can see it's kind of got a little bit of an orange peel appearance to it. Shell on the hood. V-Power along the side does have your pony. And then it says GT in the back. No rear prints or anything on this one, but it looks still pretty good. Deets on the bottom, S13. Again, this is our next convoy. We'll pop this guy off and take a look at the Western Star. Now, this is technically the fourth release of this casting. There was one release done on a single card, which was a promotional, which was given to Western Star. You had to buy it through Western Star. Um, it was very difficult to acquire. They do pop up here and there. I do not have one, unfortunately. But they do exist. And then, of course, they did release one with the Sriracha trailer. That came with the Nissan Junior in matching Sriracha Deco. And then, of course, we saw it pop up in a 9-pack exclusive. And now we have this guy here. Front prints look pretty good. does have your Western Star logo right there on the grill. I think it looks fantastic. No interior on this model because he does have an extra axle, so you lose that. Um, S10A, so these guys were made three weeks before the fire truck. Uh, the details on this casting are really nice, but the only thing metal on it is the cab. Um, everything else is plastic, unfortunately, but it's a pretty good truck. This is your trailer, your tanker trailer. Um, let's see here. I am happy to report that is a, that is not a decal. That is not a decal. It's not a sticker. That is printed directly onto the tank. And it's very good quality prints too. Really good quality prints. Um, 
that's really nice. That's actually quite of a nice premium feature there. Uh, for it to not be a sticker, that is pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. A couple of integrated uh, cones. It's just part of the casting when this trailer was new. Uh, that was a separate piece, so you can get different color break in for the cones. But unfortunately, it's not like that anymore. There is the details there for the trailer, see 2019. So this was retooled. Essentially a new trailer. The only thing that is metal on this trailer is this little piece of metal here uh, to hold the axles on. But I think this is a very, very, very nice, uh, very realistic tra uh, tanker trailer, which looks really good. Even has your uh, hazard diamond there on the back. Just a really, really nice trailer. I do like this little section here too, where um, it have like access stuff or uh, equipment for all the hoses and stuff like that. So that's pretty nice. I actually like that a lot. That looks pretty good. Of course, they just go in there and they snap. They are extremely, extremely firm. Uh, they are not going to fall out. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, and of course, you know, they're completely interchangeable. They are. Uh... Now, I can tell you that there's a little bit of a clearance issue with the mud flaps on this one. But you could still uh, drive it around. It's just really, really close with the uh, mud flaps there. Um, as far as this guy, though, ooh, I guess not. So that is not interchangeable. You cannot put this trailer on that cab. That is, that is a problem. It's definitely a problem. You cannot, because uh, you have to get it in the front notch in order to snap it back to hold it in there. You can't get it into the front notch without it. Oh, there we go. But. You see this little box here can't turn it Oof. that's kind of a bummer you can't interchange the trailers so i can tell you what that means is that you are more than likely going to see the same trailer on the same truck uh probably for the entire time there's a little bit of print on the side there said houston texas get that to focus and cooperate with us a little bit that looks pretty cool. Houston, Texas. Just a cool little detail on there I didn't see. So I thought we'd check that out. This, this one is just not user-friendly. Stays on there, though. It's just not user-friendly. So we'll put that guy in the back. We'll put our shell here. There you go. It's only two convoys. There's only two new ones in the mix, uh, unfortunately. But at least you get two of each. Um, the repeats from previous batches, it's unlikely there's going to be anything different between them. Um, but I'll, I'll, I don't know. I might take a look at them, but I, I'm telling you, there's, there's not going to be any difference. You know how we do at the channel. We, we compare stuff all the time. There's really nothing going to be anything different with these ones. But the, the trade-off here is, in case you're wondering why there's old and new, is they're only allowed to do so many new SKU items. Um... For whatever reason, there's like this corporate agenda thing in there where, you know, it, it, penny pinchers, we'll call it penny pinchers. So it's the only reason why we don't have four brand new versions. We just have two, but um, kind of interesting. I'm just glad the convoys are back. These are two pretty good ones. Um, kind of an oddball rambling video. I do apologize, but I do like the convoys and I thought it was kind of different. Uh, to finally get a case of these and get them on the channel. So let me know what you guys think about those. You're going to pick those up. Couldn't tell you which retailers are going to carry those. Um, I would assume... I, I wouldn't even know where to assume. When convoys were around uh, years and years and years ago, um, you used to be able to pick them up at like an auto parts store. It was kind of one of the oddball things that they carried. So maybe these might show up at an auto parts store, but I'm not really sure. But there it is. There it is. Matchbox Convoys 2023. The convoys are back. And they've kicked it off with a pretty good duo. So we'll see what else they have in store for us for 2023 moving forward. But uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So drop a comment. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back. Catch more stuff. Level M. Dotcast. Same.